what's up guys, MKBHD here, and uh, it's 2019, and obviously everything leaks, so of course it's never too early for a little bit of pixel hype, and boy is today a good day for some of that. So if you've been following Pixel 3 for the past couple months, you know, comparing it to other phones, we've been asking Google for so long now to step up their hardware game to match their incredible software. That's always been like a slightly weaker point with the Pixels, and it looks like they've finally done it for 2019. So this is your exclusive first look at the Google Pixel 4 for 2019. There it is, that's the phone. Okay, so there's a lot to take in here, of course. Things like, why does it look so different? Why does it have that wedge looking thing? Why does it look like it's in a case? But luckily, not only do I have this leak, but I also have a bunch of information. I have some sources, some exclusives, so I can explain it all. So my sources are close to the situation, but they wish to remain anonymous. But I, tr I trust them with my life. They are 100% on this kind of stuff, uh, and they have the answers. First of all, these leaked images come as a picture of the phone with a clear case on it. So that's why it might look kind of weird with that sort of an outline, but that's what's happening. You can clearly see the outline of a clear case around the Pixel 4. And they're really going bezel-less like the rest of the competition. The chin is of course tiny, uh, the side bezels minimal, and there's a fingerprint reader now underneath the display glass on the front. And as you can see, the screen goes right all the way up to the top. And then there's a motorized selfie camera shelf that looks like a shark fin. And as a matter of fact, that is the device's internal code name. So it's pretty common before a phone comes out for it to have an internal name that everyone, the employees refer to it as an internal code name. And Google's for the past couple years with Pixels and Nexus devices have notoriously been fish related. So the Nexus 7 tablet before it came out was internally referred to as Grouper. And then the Nexus 10, the bigger tablet before that came out, that was called Manta, like a manta ray. The Nexus 4 was called Mako, as in Mako Shark. Nexus 5 was Hammerhead. And then Nexus 6 was infamously uh, Shamu, so the whale. And then the first Pixel was called Sailfish. So Google is clearly sticking to those roots with Pixel 4 internal code name Sharkfin because of the shark fin selfie camera, obviously. It also looks like Google's doing a dual camera on the back, which is nice. I'm thinking that's an ultra wide camera because you can't really fake ultra wide with software. Like Google's done a whole bunch of great stuff with one camera in the past, but you can't do ultra wide if you don't have an ultra wide lens. So a second camera, super ultra wide lens, that's great. And then my source says it should have the latest specs, Snapdragon 855, eight gigs of RAM, great. And then the power button and volume rocker are in the same traditional place. The squeeze functionality is also still intact. So. Why was Google able to suddenly step up their hardware game so fast for this Pixel 4? And why does this remind me of that leak I just saw last week of that Oppo Reno phone? Well, my source says Google recently completed a silent acquisition of the mobile hardware team at Oppo. This is totally exclusive, never before seen information. So that's why the Pixel 4 looks exactly like that Oppo Reno leak that we saw last week. And I actually believe this is an intentional leak. Take another closer look at this Oppo image. So at first it looks like a, a random collection of colorful artsy images, nothing to see here. But why else would they have a magnifying glass and a microscope? Clearly they want us to look closer here. So if you look even closer, so there's a whale over there and that's an obvious hint at the sea life in all their previous code names. And there's a camera over there all the way over to the side. That's clearly a signal at how proud Google is of their cameras and it's a DSLR with a wide angle lens on it, meaning it'll have the ultra wide camera as that second lens, confirmed. And then what is this like around the plane? It's like some sort of plant, like a, like a beanstalk, like Jack and the Beanstalk, okay. Okay, so that's how, okay, that's how you tell us we're getting a Pixel 4 with a jack, a headphone jack. Well played, Google, well played. And then there's some sort of monkey or, or lemur, which I wasn't sure what species it was supposed to be until I saw the elephant, which is clearly an African elephant, which if it wasn't obvious by the globe hanging down that shows Africa, I mean, come on guys. So of course I looked up the species of lemurs that are native to Africa. Turns out this one most closely resembles a red-tailed sportive lemur native to Madagascar, fun fact. And red-tailed clearly means that they want the letter under the tail to be red, so we can turn that E red. And then above the letter N is clearly a magnifying glass on the color yellow. So they want the letter under that magnifying glass to be yellow, duh. So you turn that yellow, which gives you the four colors of the letters now, blue, red, yellow, blue. Are you getting it? it reminds you of anything? Blue, red, yellow, Blue. Okay, so last bit. I think they just threw this in for fun for the people who didn't get all of that. Uh, they just called it the Oppo Reno, 
pretty obvious. Reno backwards is owner, as in owner, as in first project under a new owner, Google. So easy. So clearly this is the Pixel 4, confirmed in every which way, but that's not all. We've also been waiting for well over a year for an additional device and we're finally getting it. There is also a Pixel 4 Ultra. So this is a clip of the Pixel 4 Ultra launching alongside this phone, courtesy of our guy, Dave2D. It's just beautiful. It's so beautiful. So yeah, clearly leaks are getting pretty serious in the tech world and you gotta look, you gotta look a little deeper than just the surface level. When you see a leak, this is how you get to the next level. I even tossed it in an OCR program and I saw those characters in between Oppo and Reno. And of course we know Oppo is or was a Chinese company. So I translated the OCR image into characters in English and I got uh, April Fool. Nice. So this is your annual reminder uh, not to take any announcements or any new products too seriously for the next 24 hours, but I hope you enjoyed this one anyway. Um, but what isn't a joke is the new drop in the MKBHD merch store, including this, and a bunch of all favorites are coming back, including this new thing, uh, a matte black microfiber. I was kind of getting tired of those like thin ones. They just kind of toss in everything, the microfibers you see everywhere. So this is a high quality one you can actually use on everything laptop, phone, tablet, just wanted to kill them all. Thanks, Bixby. So I'll link to everything below. Also, shout out to Dave2D for helping out with this video and his glorious, beautiful Pixel 3 or Pixel 4 mock-up. Appreciate that, Dave. Anyway, until the next one, happy April Fool's Day. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.